In this video, we'll be covering auto ENV. So auto environment, what that is, is as you CD into a certain directory, if there is a .env or environment file there, it'll automatically run that. So the common situation that I run into is I switch from one project to another. Let's say I have a virtual environment running and I want to switch to a different virtual environment instead of having to type in activate every single time or remember to do so. What I do is use something like this. And so we're going to go ahead and install this. And if you're on a Mac, it can be installed using Homebrew. You could also install using pip or checking out, um, checking the project out using Git. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy this. I'm going to go ahead and try and install this. I actually already have this. Um, so the next thing that we need to do Looks like I do have an error also. That's because I'm running a shared directory. Um, I have the basically the video set up as a different user, but um, it'll be fine for this. So the next thing we need to do is append the activate to our bash profile. And so if we go into our bash profile, um, we're, we should see all of this. And which we do. So uh, that works as expected. However, so our since our bash file is up, has been updated, what we need to do is we need to refresh it. We can either do that, we can simply close the terminal and reopen it. Another thing we can do is run the source command. So we just type in source and our bash profile. Okay, and once that is done, I can so if we do a listing of what's inside of our directory, I have a hello world flask project. And if we go to our editor, so all it's going to do is print hello world. Now what we're going to do with auto e environment is we're going to create a new file call that .env. And so when I CD into this directory, what I wanted to do is first activate the virtual environment. So we're going ahead and put that in. As far as virtual environments go, I do have another video specifically on setting up virtual environments. Uh, but for now, um, we're just going going to activate that. And then, so since this is a just a plain Flask app, we can export our Flask app environment variable. Okay, so if we return to our terminal, um, I'm gonna back out of this directory and then CD back into it. And you'll notice that our virtual environment did um, run. And if we run flask, okay, so it did set up the flask app variable. Otherwise it would have given us a command not found. And so at this point we can go to this URL and have hello world printed back to us. So that's pretty much all there is to running auto environment. Thank you for watching.